French President Francois Hollande has stated that there is no reason for tougher EU sanctions on Russia and that the easing of those currently imposed will depend on the situation in Ukraine. Now, this has put Hollande at odds with other European leaders, though. The German Chancellor insisted sanctions against Russia remain unavoidable but may be lifted in the case of de-escalation of the crisis in Ukraine. However, UK Prime Minister David Cameron called recently for the pressure to be kept up on the Kremlin. Political economist Yanis Varoufakis is thinking that the EU's clash with Moscow could be detrimental to the bloc's already unstable economic situation. There is a concern throughout Europe that uh, this escalation of the crisis and the, 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 the clash with Moscow is detrimental to everyone. The European economy is uh, independently of Russia, uh, fragmenting and finding it extremely hard to cope uh, so many years after the 2008 crisis without crisis in its aftermath. Because it is in such a terrible state, with deflation affecting the coal countries and depression in the periphery of Europe, the Russian situation is making the bad thing worse. Of course, the crisis in Russia is far worse from the Russian perspective. But what I fear we have is now, you know, what, what economists might um, relate as a terrible equilibrium. An equilibrium where everybody's worse off, everybody's getting worse off, but none of the players have the wit or the incentive to do something about it. We're sleepwalking into a terrible state of affairs.